we go. All right, we're counting down. 23, 22, let's listen if they're counting down. See if we can hear them. And 10 seconds, here we go. So that's safe. Incredible. A little frozen video. Incredible. So we've got about two minutes to wait so we can see the separation. Let's listen. Light up. Yeah, and we can see on our monitor the speed it keeps increasing. It's at almost 900 kilometers. You're right, John. About six of those engines. Yeah, didn't they work built out. a lot of redundancy into this okay. thing for that very reason. But uh, just getting that thing off the ground is an incredible accomplishment. Wow. 100 seconds into flight. And you can hear the cheers and the applause. Oh, it's amazing. If you're a space nut like me, this is incredible. What a feat. Mm -hmm. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six good. engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard oh, view from Starship. Good. Look at that. That's great. And those views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage now you're looking at the, the stage, second stage rocket engines inside. For and when and they, they separate, they'll ignite. What an incredible view. There again is that the second stage engines ready to go. Continuing to fly. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. All right, big step this here. Is, yeah, this is important right now. Cut off. Beginning the flip for stage separation. Huh? Is it coming back down? It's hard to figure out. It doesn't look like it's stable. Yeah, yeah they've got a problem. It looks last like 90 minutes. It looks like it's rotating, which is probably not good. Yeah. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras. The entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah. yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Oh, oh there it goes. It just exploded. Oh, oh. There. All right. And people. That's why they don't put people on it. And then, yeah, as right. We saw <laughs> inaugural integrated test well, yeah, it, it, Just getting off the ground was right. pretty incredible with a, with a rocket of this size. So yeah. first test, uh, they'll do it again. They've got like five of these things built already. Look at that. Well, they consider it a huge success. Yeah. Uh, Everyone here absolutely loves 
absolutely pumped to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight. The first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control There's Elon center Musk at right Starbase, there in the uh, middle. Which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> As we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.